Tomorrow marks 20 years since the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. Leslie Ackerson sat down with one East Tennessee man as he reflected on his time working disaster response. It's been two decades since Art Bohannon first stepped foot at ground zero. Walked up and he stood in the scene and I couldn't form a word for what I was seeing. I mean, I stand right in it. And the first thing I've seen was a huge crane with a basket with a red dog and a man slowly hovering over the debris trying to find anybody living. His first memories were crews desperately searching for signs of life. The rescue missions were quickly ones of recovery. Big lights were on and to the, uh, the two that was watching went up and knelt down and saluted something in the ground. Bohannon was just three months into retirement after a long career with the Knoxville Police Department when he was called to assist in New York. His forensic skills would be used at the temporary morgue. I seen everything from right eyebrow to a full body. It took me probably six months to get to the point I could sleep again. Still have flashbacks, some of the things I've seen. Bohannon spent a total of eight weeks and three separate trips to New York that fall, but in December, it was time to go home. I wrote in my journal, I've had enough, I'm not coming back. Today, the mental impacts haven't disappeared, and the toxic exposure leaves a physical barrier as well. We're breathing uh, magnesium, we're breathing asbestos, we're breathing a combination of just, just the worst things you can breathe. Lead, heavy compounds, we're breathing all that. As painful as recounting the events can be, he feels it's important that his and others' stories live on. He often shares his experience in schools. And visitors can now view pieces of Bohannon's gear, his hard hat and journal, at the Alcatraz East Crime Museum in Pigeon Forge. Looking back 20 years, he still believes it was a job he felt called to do. That's what I'm supposed to do in life. That's my calling. In Knoxville, Leslie Ackerson. This weekend, Bohannon will be at the Alcatraz East Museum in Pigeon Forge in person, recounting his time aiding in the days after 9-11. We have more details and a link to buy tickets online. Well,